Hello and welcome to Cheshire Audio, and this is going to be another record review. Um, now the, the guy I'm going to talk about today has been a favourite for years, actually, and I've seen him probably more than anybody else. I think he's probably second only to uh, Guitar George, George Borowski, who I, I talk about a lot to people and they look at and they start glazing over. Um, Guitar George, he knows all the chords, he doesn't want to make it cry and say, um, that George. Um, I must do a video about him, actually, at some point. Um, but anyway, yeah. The, Back onto what we're talking about. The guy we're going to talk about is Roy Harper. Um, and like I say, I've seen him, I don't know, 20, 30 times, probably uh, a lot, actually. And he used to he used to be uh, sort of do the clubs and things around sort of Leeds, Leeds University. And I used to go with a few friends and um, we used to see loads of bands, to be fair. Um, I had quite a few friends at Leeds. I used to go up and see, I didn't go to Leeds University, I used to go up and see, see friends and we used to go out and sit to concerts or whatever. Usually, usually to be Roy Harper. Uh, so John Martin, uh, Martin Simpson, and people like that. Uh, John Martin was the worst concert I've ever seen, to be honest. I mean, he was completely, completely out of his head. Um, I think they'd even turned, it was him and a keyboard, him on guitar and a keyboard, and they turned the guitar down, and he's, they basically turned him down, because he, he, just, he wasn't making any sense. But it was good to see him, but yeah, it was, it, it, I think, it, that stage where I think he was struggling, struggling with life quite a bit. But Roy was an absolute delight. I mean, he's, um, it was the era of what do you call the Rizzler album, I suppose, the one with Jimmy Page. Um, sort of in good ways and bad ways, it was the era of when he used, he had an electric acoustic ovation guitar, which I never thought suited his voice very much. I preferred the earlier stuff with just straight, you know, straight and that sort of nylon string acoustic, because um, I, th I thought that was a better, a better sound, really. Uh, and the album I want to talk to is from that era. It's a, uh, easily the best of his, I think. It's got all my favourite tracks of his on it. Um, drink. It's felt awful this morning, trying to drink loads of things. It absolutely felt terrible when I got up. Um, what we're going to talk about is Roy Harper, Flat Baroque and Berserk. I mean, this this is, again, I keep saying it, in my top few favourite albums of all time. I, do, I always come back to this. There's good and bad about this, I think, actually. Um, I think you almost have to be in the right mood for it as well, because it's, the, it, it, it's Roy at his most inventive and creative. It's also Roy at his most self-indulgent and has a sort of irritating side to him as well, a little bit. Um, there's a little bit of um, I'm on drugs, look at me sort of thing, um, which at the time might have been something that you would brag about. Nowadays it's sort of a bit a bit cringy really. Um, there's, there's whole sections on this where they just leave the tape running and you can hear them talking in talking in the studio and it was alright the first time through but it gets a bit gets a bit much after a while and sort of rolling joints and whatever in the background. But musically nine out of ten well, ninety percent of this, I'd say, is brilliant. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal sounding album, and it's mainly, the, to be fair, it's mainly the just the straight uh, guitar vocal tracks. I mean, some of the um, there's a few band track, full band tracks on this. I'm not actually that into. It's Hell's Angels, which I don't really get. Um, what was the other one that's a bit like that? Um, can't remember. Is it Song of Ages? I don't, don't really get. It's a bit, a little bit sort of, yeah, him being a little bit self indulgent. I think really, but. On the flip side, this is an album I like, by the way. <laughs> this is an album I like and I'm just knocking it. Uh, I Hate the White Man, that's a bit of a divisive one. People either love or hate that. I really like it, partly because I've seen it done live a lot. It was one of his main... He tended to finish on I Hate the White Man at, at his concerts, and it was... It, it's... Yeah, whether you sort of get the, the, the feeling behind it, I, I felt as though he over-egged it a little bit. Um, how, do it, how does it feel is a great track, Goodbye is a great track. Another Day is fantastic. That's one of my all-time favourite tracks, I think, Another Day. It's been covered by loads of people. I think This Mortal Coil um, had a hit with it. Um, not to be confused with the Paul McCartney version, which is very different. Um, I actually saw a version of that done. I watched the Kate Bush tribute um, programme, which was, on, there was a, a whole evening of Kate Bush. I think it was, was, it 50, was it 50th anniversary? Would it be? No. Anniversary, there was an anniversary of Kate Bush anyway, and there was, um, she did Another Day as a duet with Peter Gabriel, and it was beautiful. It was really, really nice. Um, Don't You Grieve, I Love, that's a very sort of um, uh, dynamic sort of hymn on acoustic guitar, very, you know, very rhythmic, very dynamic track. 
I think that's the first track on the second side, I think, another um, Don't You Grieve. Hell's Angels, like I say, don't get that. Tom Tiddler's Ground, I love that. It's got a very sort of uh, Tolkien-esque feel to it. I actually managed to learn to play that on the guitar, which was some feat, because my guitar playing is not good. I've been trying to, le trying to learn the guitar for 40-odd years, and I've not never, never advanced. <laughs> but I could play Tom Tiddler's Ground, kind of, at, at the end of it. Um, I could also play, I hate the white one, but it's three chords, so it's not too difficult. Uh, so yeah, the whole the Francesca is a beautiful track as well. Um, Dave is a beautiful track. So it's, it is. It's just a, one of those albums that gets gets your heart sort of thing. It's what it it's gets into your, into your blood supply. Um, absolutely love it. Um, love the cover as well. It sort of continues along the gatefold, but it continues along the back. Laying on the, the sofa, covered in a sort of like a tiger skin, which is a bit probably a bit controversial, but anyway. So yeah, Roy Harper, Flat Brock and Berserk, 1970. Uh, this isn't an original, um, this is on Harvest, but I think um, this would have been from about, I bought this new, probably late 70s, I think really, might be, eight, might be 1980. So it was probably a 10, it had been out about 10 years when I bought it, so it's not an original press, this, but um, yeah, that's it. Roy Harper, recommended. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I'll, um, See you in a future video. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. Uh, again, subscriptions are climbing again. I think we're on about 5,003 at the moment, which is lovely. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of going home now. <laughs> I'm putting a face on. I feel terrible, but I'm drinking water to try and make myself feel better. Hopefully it's not COVID. I've got a really sore throat and I've got everything. Well, a few things going on. Actually, I'm not going into details. Anyway, I'll let the... <laughs> What am I talking about? I'll see you in a future video. Thank you very much.